So in Photoshop, you have destructive tools and you have non-destructive tools. So just quickly, I want to show you the difference. Everything, as a general rule of thumb, everything in your menu bar up here is a destructive edit. So what that means is that you can't go back in time and undo a bunch of steps. After you save it that way, it's completely saved that way. So a great example of this is the adjustments. So you can go to image adjustments and all of these things right here are the same options that you'll see over on the right side in your layers panel. So all of these are the exact same. If you hover over them, you'll see they even have the same names. The only difference is that adjustments that you make in the adjustments panel show up as additional layers, which means later they can be removed without dam damaging your original image. Now, if I select this copy right here, go up to image adjustments, I can make all those same adjustments, but they are permanently destructive. So they destroy my original layer. So as a general rule of thumb, I prefer to do as much non-destructive work as I can so that later it can go back and be edited. You just want to think, how much am I willing to redo that I've already done? If this was a 10 minute project, maybe I don't mind doing it again. But if I've spent hours of work on this and I really find at the end of it, I missed a critical step at the beginning, I don't want to have to go undo all of that. So again, general rule of thumb up here, filters, again, same thing. These can be done by creating smart objects and then using more layers in the layers panel or they can be used in the menu bar. As often as you can do add layers, the better. So as much non-destructive work as you can do, the better it is for you.